Are you accounting for your e-commerce revenues correctly? The deposits that hit your bank account from Shopify, Amazon, eBay, or Walmart are not your revenues. Instead, this is a net number that includes refunds, chargebacks, credit card processing fees, and potentially other items. Here's a quick example. If you have $1,000 in Amazon sales, you may have $150 in Amazon fees, $40 in refunds, and $15 in chargebacks. The net amount deposited into your account is only $795. Many accountants or bookkeepers who are inexperienced may consider $795 as your revenues because that's what hits your bank account. However, the true revenues of $1,000 is actually the correct number. This is particularly high risk because your payment processor, in this example Amazon, actually reports your gross revenues directly to the IRS via Form 1099-K. So if you report $795 of revenues, but the IRS thinks you should have reported $1,000, well, you can imagine the rest. If you find this video helpful, be sure to share it with your friends and also comment below for any future topics that you would like to see.